Hello everyone, Astro here, Coming 101, going to do another review. Um, with this one, uh, this is a Valentine gift from my girlfriend. She got this for me. As you can see, it's Mona Lisa. I do remember someone in maybe in 2011, someone did request a uh, review on this, but I uh, didn't have it at the time. So we're going to do a review on this. Um, she. Like, <coughs> She's trying, she wouldn't tell me what she's going to give me, but she hinted out, and I, she sent me on my um, Facebook picture of Mona Lisa and Raphael, you know, holding on to each other. Um, those of you who um, probably never seen this character before, this is the very first female mutant before Venus. Seriously. She, she didn't have any magic powers or anything like that. She was just a regular human being, a college student that was a human before she be, got transferred. Um, mutate into a lizard. Now, I won't tell you too much about it because if you haven't seen the series, I don't want to spoil it too much. But if you need to know the name of the series, it's Raphael Meet His Match. That's the name of the series, so I don't know if YouTube has it up or whatnot. Um, so go ahead and check it out. She's in it. Um, I won't say too much. But uh, this is um, for the cartoon series and the anime series, like the Japanese series. Um, this is Raphael's first girlfriend, or the girlfriend. Um, she was, there wasn't a comic book on her or anything like that. It was more like, uh, what do you call it, Megan, Mega? Those Japanese, um, comic books, you know, that they have up there. She's been starting guests on that, but comic book-wise in America, nothing. Uh, she's only been on the series once, as far as I can remember, it's been a while. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, that's the only time you get to see her. Like, she looks totally different in both of the series, like the Cartoon America, little, little bit of a toonie, and then when you got the Japanese, um, comic or mega comics, she looks a lot better in that one. She looks really cool when they all upgraded her face and everything. So, we'll do a review on this, and those of you who are also brand new to my, um, series of my reviews, this is where I usually get my Nina Turtle stuff. Uh, she didn't get she didn't get by this from from them, but I'm pretty sure they do have it there. Uh, check it out, fi uh, Fighter Corners. There's her address, Facebook them, and then give them a call and tell them what you're looking for. They have a lot of Japanese animation there, a lot, and other good stuff like Ghostbuster, He Man. But as far as anything right now, let's get on with this because also this is um, complete, so you get to see a complete version of. Mona Lisa. So this has to do with accessories also. So if you see a toy that you have, like what, what, what is this, and you came across it, hopefully this video or this review will help you out on your accessories. And I got other cool stuff to show you. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get on with the review. Alright, to start off with this review, uh, Scratch, and you got the Robotic Bebop, the original ones. And robotic rock setting are part of the series with Mona Lisa. However, I do not own um, Sandstorm and then Hotspot. I think that's all of them. But Sandstorm, Hotspot are also part of this series. Let me move the camera this way. There we go. So I just need two more to, to complete the series of this version. So you can tell how, how special this series is because you got the, the two main ones of so Scratch, as you can see. I will do, uh, when well, I won't do, I will um, put the old reviews of these two and Scratch underneath this link. So you go ahead and check out those reviews. Uh, I had a really old camera, so bear with it. I'm, I'm totally sorry about that. So we got Mona Lisa right here, as you can see. Um... Really trip out part I did not know about because I never owned a Mona Lisa before is that she's very, very rubber. Not like hard plastic like the other turtle toys or anything like that. Um, the best way to explain it is not, it's not like the movie Star Turtles rubber piece. It's like having, um, there you go, Next Mutation Turtles. How you know they're rubber and flexible they are. It's, it feels exactly the same way like that. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, as you can see, I guess it's supposed to be her purse, huh? It's really weird. As you can see, it's a little f biting fish. So we could do it like this. As you can see, she holds it very nicely. 
and then her uh, mace, which has a, a cobra on it. And then I guess we could just uh, put, put on her other hand, or her same hand, I mean. That's how you do it. So there we go. She go, she go, ah, and then we'll fall over. She go, hold that. And then, I have no idea, I don't know the names of these because I'm not in the box, but it looks like a hair strainer. Believe me, this is really their accessories. And she can hold on to it. But I'm not going to put this on her yet. The reason for this, I'm pretty sure a lot of you recognize this. Does it look familiar? The little blowfish weapon? Those of you who probably don't, it's the same blowfish... A story shell Raphael. Which comes kind of funny because, you know, they're lovers. You know, she's taller than him. Right there. But they're exact same accessory. Uh, Raphael's weapon is a little more bent to the, to the side. This one is just straight up, as you can see. But yet, the blowfish are exactly the same. Same spots and everything. So now we could have to say that there's three different versions of this of this um, blowfish now. Uh, let me show you the handles real quick. <laughs> of course, the original one is the blowfish for the Star Shot Raphael. Then you have the second version. It will be um, Mona Lisa's weapon. And then, like I said before, there is a other, another version of Star Shot um, Raphael. It's the one. It's the second version that he has a black belt instead of a, of a color belt. I will put that link or that review of this underneath this um, video. So go ahead and check that out. But it's going to be in a total different color. I do believe the Story Shop Raphael second version is green instead of brown. So go ahead and check that out. And of course, uh, she holds her weapons, as you can see. And I guess see this perfectly. Oh. <laughs> so this one could actually hold all her um, accessories. So hopefully, if you have these accessories and you weren't too sure what's the deal was going on or why you have another color blowfish, and your thumb was part of Raphael, it actually goes to Mona Lisa. I didn't know about this until I opened it up. Um, Raphael's weapon on. But, um, so yeah, this is Raphael's girlfriend. And let me put down her accessories real quick. This is her up and close. She looks kind of like Jackie from the 70s show. Mutated. Um, I don't know anything, anything that is actually different about this. Like, you know, maybe there's a different color or a different year, which is probably just show you. Where is it? I hope we can see it. She's saying 1993. There it goes, 1993. Morgan Studio, this is before Nickelodeon took over, or Viacon. Um, her tail actually moves. So it's, she's easier to stand up, but she, she needs forward. They stand her legs and everything. Like I said, everything is very flexible, very rubber like. Just like the mutation turtles. I guess she's supposed to be like holding her hip or something like that, but you know, it looks like that. So yeah, she's a lizard. <laughs> and this kind of trips me out. She looks like she has a Ninja Turtle shell on the back. However, there is a rumor going around about Mona Lisa. <laughs> now, I hopefully it's true. I don't know if I can find that website ever again. Mona Lisa might be a guess. Or there might be a spot of her in the new series. 
She's some kid from another country looking for her brother. Now, maybe her brother is going to be a mutant like Mono Gecko because they're both lizards. I'm not sure how they're going to do this. But that's what I read, is that she's from another country or something like that. And she knows her, her brother's been kidnapped. And she went out looking for him and got mutated as a lizard. I Hopefully this is true because they, that got me excited because I really hope to see more of the old school turtles in the new series. So, I don't know. So anyways, put your comments down. Tell me what you guys think about this action figure. I mean, do you like Mona Lisa or do you not? To me, I always wanted her for a long time. And this is my first time actually getting my hands on her. Like I said, I did, I did not know she was like rubber piece like, which is really cool. She is not cheap, people. Um, yeah. As you can see, who she's surrounded with, so, you know, Scratch and then Robotic Bebop and Roxy. So we already know that she's one of the rare kind. And she's very popular, big with the fans. Um, I know just one person said that he didn't, she didn't, or he, I don't know who was. If the person was a guy or a girl on my page, but saying that they're not a very big fan of Mona Lisa, but you know what? I like her. I dig her. She's, like I said, the very first female mutant that actually is a mutant. Not like April turned into a cat and went back to human. Ooh. But, yep. Yeah. So, like I said, she's not too skinny, so you don't have to worry about breaking her or anything like that, like snapping her. There's your three toes. So, tell me what you guys think about this. I want some comments on, on, on this video. I want to know what you guys' thoughts when you first saw this toy at the store or maybe on my review or, heck, you may even own one or maybe you used to own one. You know, feel free to put your comments down. I want to hear some um, history. I want to hear some uh, childhood memory with this turtle toy. Um, like or dislike. The scarf going or her bandana thing going on her neck like Raphael's bandana as you can tell but uh yeah the very first female mutant before Venus came by and well you know the rest so that's my review on Mona Lisa Raphael uh, girlfriend uh, Raphael meet his match it's his name of this series when they go on a, on a cruise ship boat on Halloween so they could blend in so nobody won't freak out well, I guess I won't tell you too much of the story if you haven't seen it. I want to spoil it for you. So that's my review. Put your comments down. So that's my review. Hopefully, uh, this actually helps you out on um, the accessories. Like I said, if you want to see them again, here it is. It looks like a Barbie doll's um, hair strainer. I, I kid you not. It's the first thing popped in my head, so I don't know the names of the accessories. I do apologize for that because I don't have the card with me. I don't. This just came loose like this. So we get a good look on it, how it looks. And of course, don't forget, the pink blowfish, just like Raphael's. I guess it's supposed to be her hand purse, or... I don't know what it is, but it has a, like a mean fish look to it. And of course, uh, a spray can, that's Venom. It looks like it says Venom Brains, Mace, something, Mace, something size, I can't even read it, but it has a uh, giant can on front and of course a, um, a cobra on top. Those are her accessories. So hopefully you have maybe somewhere laying around that you did not know about. Maybe th actually thought these are Barbie dolls or Barbie's toys or something like that. That could happen. But, like I said, this is one of my favorite um, characters. I really wanted her for a very long time. I uh, never saw her in stores. Seriously. I just know friends who owns them. Or owns her. So uh, hopefully this review helped you out. And remember, this is Raphael's uh, girlfriend. Oh, you know Valentine's is past too, but it's still good. It's still good. Oh, look at oh the kisses, oh little kiss kiss. Sorry. <laughs>
But, like I said, if you're also collecting the series, remember, Robotic Roxane and Robotic Bebop are also part of it. And, of course, our favorite. Head of all turtle toys, high priest of all, I don't know, Scratch. Um, if you're like me and want to take care of your turtle toys, like seriously, get one of these plastic things. You know, that's where I put my Scratch in there with the other ones. It keeps them safe. I mean, it's not really too strong to hold on any weight or anything like that. But it will protect it from the paint and all that stuff. So, Mona Lisa. Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys thought about this turtle toy. Um, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Push, please push like if you like this uh, review. It would be really nice. Um, copy uh, the link and share it with your friends. I mean, they probably looked at me like, what is that on TV? You know. So, uh, yeah, post, post my reviews. If, uh, for any um, turtle fans out there, or maybe they're having some turtle questions, I do like to help out people on turtle questions, so don't think you're bugging me if I don't respond back it's because I'm, you know, busy doing something. So I will get back to you on your, um, on your uh, writing. And I apologize, I don't know who uh, requests this review of Mona Lisa, but I'm glad I could finish this, that request as well. So, until then, people, take care of yourself, and happy hunting. Alright, it's eBay time. Uh, before we do eBay, I forgot to mention, there is one character that goes with a series. His name is Half Court, that draft character. Uh, yeah, the Jamaican draft character. I don't know if it's racy or not, but that's, the, that's what he is, a draft that it looks like from Africa. He's the last uh, um, character I forgot to mention. I knew I forgot someone. Okay, here's in the NECA characters, um, like based on the actual comic book, which I hope they come back to do more of this stuff. Uh, as you can see, it's all four complete. Well, not really complete because they don't have direction extra hands with the spikes. No baby turtles on the ground, so this guy's like, "Ooh, need turtles." Okay, well, yeah, free shipping. That's terrific. But of course, we all know these things cost an arm and a leg. However, you could tell the person doesn't know what he's selling because he thought, well, these are Ninja Turtles now, so NECA, Ninja Turtles, Team NT, cool, classic Nickelodeon, 2012? This is how you know when people are bull s. I had to be careful what I say because there's kids who actually watch my uh, review, but I'm trying to hold back from cussing so much because this guy's an idiot because here he is right here selling it. Okay, Turtle fans? These never came out in 2012. None. No, 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 no. 2000, what? 10? 9? Yeah. The original ones. The first came out. And then, of course, the black and white ones. But, that's cool. He got. He knows this because he's probably talked to someone online. He knows they're turtles. They're not classic, you idiot. And they're definitely not Nickelodeon, you moron. And they def definitely did not come out in 2012. Dillweed. Uh, hold on, let's see. Uh, remove from there. Whatever. So, the other question is, are these the actual NECA? Or are they bootleg? Ha! You thought I forgot about that. Oh wait, there's more pictures we could look at. Yay. Yay. Eh, it doesn't really show you crap. But free shipping, whatever. As you can see, there's more over here. Yes, people, these people uh, are actually... Oh, look at now, it says 2008 right here. But on top it says 2012. See, whatever. Oh, look at these are poor, ugly, poorly made knockoffs from China. Now he says it. Okay, so... If these are China ones... Well, not be disappointed at all. Yeah, I mean, I want I want to mind getting some rare ones, those cheap knockoff ones. But the truth is on the bottom, and then he lies on top. Great, dude. Thank you for um, lying to us, just to get our attention. So, uh, put your comments down. Tell me what you guys think about all this and Mona Lisa. I like to hear a lot of reviews about this or comments or whatever. See you later.